The link between red meat and psoriasis isn't immediately obvious. That's because there are a few intermediate steps between eating red meat and the systemic development of psoriasis. Let's start with inflammation. According to the National Psoriasis Foundation, inflammation causes the red, flaky plaques of psoriasis. For 14 years, scientists have known that one meal of meat, dairy, or eggs causes an almost immediate inflammatory reaction. In response, our arteries harden temporarily within a few hours and then, after six hours, relax. But then, there's another meal and more artificial stiffening. Many of us have eaten ourselves into a chronic, low-grade inflammatory process for most of our meat-eating lives. It's a setup for the many diseases, including psoriasis, that can be caused by chronic inflammation. How does red meat lead to inflammation? All red meat contains arachidonic acid. This organic acid causes an inflammatory response in tissues throughout the body. Inflammation attracts white blood cells, which turn acute temporary inflammation into chronic inflammation by releasing cytokines, which are proteins that cause even greater inflammation. The role of cytokines is to help fight and resolve infections. However, when there is no infection to fight, the cytokines can stimulate an autoimmune reaction. That's when the body starts reacting against itself. There are many types of autoimmune diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, type 1 diabetes, scleroderma, myocarditis, and psoriasis. In each of these conditions, there is a different manifestation. With psoriasis, the autoimmune process manifests as skin plaques that are red, itchy, and scaly. These plaques can occur on different areas of the body, but they are most common on the elbows and knees, scalp, face, and hands and feet. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition states that substituting red meat with another protein food is associated with a healthier biomarker profile of inflammation. In short, by eating less red meat and substituting plant proteins, you can reduce your inflammatory profile. That can lead to a low risk of not only psoriasis, but also the many other adverse health conditions associated with eating red meat. These include heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and stroke. Equally important, you can make a real contribution to reducing the negative effects of climate change caused by red meat production. This is Dr. Mike Martin encouraging you to discover how red meat is linked to a variety of diseases and conditions that you don't want to have. I want you to live a long, healthy, and happy life. Thanks for listening.